Because you're still going. I mean, when was the last time you skated a pool? Well, we drained a pool yesterday. Okay. Draining them pools. I actually haven't skated a pool in probably three weeks at this point. Okay. Because most of them, it's been raining so been much. Raining. Yeah, right. we got to go drain everything. And my pump took a poo. Oh. So I just got my pump just tuned up just three days ago. I love bump, that. Bump, idea. fix it. So I'm like, yeah. So that's God, why that's I'm like, important. got the pump tuned I'm all, up. I'm all yeah. excited now. So I got the pump fixed again. You know so I mean? the pump. <laughs> so <laughs> whose pool? Wait, wait, thing, is this a random pool or somebody's pool? It well, we have randoms too. Okay. We, we have just okay. like ones we barge. Yeah, yeah. They're just yeah. like stiff. Though. So like, say so like okay. So if you want to kind of talk about pools for a second, yeah, please. Before I'm... we kind of like, so in the old days there was no cell phones like there is nowadays. So you couldn't get on a satellite and go and take a sure. Zillow. Wouldn't take any like <laughs> these kind of things. That, that that didn't happen, man. <laughs> right. So what we used to do, what I used to call it, was driving the grid. Mm -hmm. So we just drive around town, look like looking for spots. And what you're basically doing is you're looking for houses that have dead lawns or, or not a mowed lawn. Or you're looking for a car in the driveway with cobwebs on it. Okay. Or you're looking for overgrown shrubbery and trees that haven't been trimmed. Or you're looking for uh, water coming down the curb, which means a pool is being drained. Mm. A or a lot of, of, lot of mail in the mailbox. Yeah, that, that, any, any kind of thing <laughs> yeah. that, 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 that the house hasn't been moving. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah totally. Speak. You know, sometimes there's... Things like you know, no gas on the on the window, or like no electricity. The house has been shut down. Got gotcha. That thing. So, yeah. so depending what the situation. Now, back when I first started, we were kids. It was a different scenario because just the house were drained. We, we were kids. We were just barged, and they would just basically get the fuck out of my pool. You fucking idiot! What are you doing? I'm gonna call your mom and dad. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. And then when you get a car, you get a little more responsibility. Now you gotta get a little more trouble. Like you're 16, you kind of know you should know better. Yeah. <laughs> but it makes it a lot easier yeah but now you got wheels man so now right. like you're rolling and so that's like when i got wheels like woo, you know it was, it was a whole different program let's go let's go get and on then, the grid and then basically from there it's just it's just i, I had a couple of friends who were pilots i've heard about this and so you'd fly over yeah so when they were pilots they i would ask them can i go on the plane with you <laughs> and i didn't tell them at first so i wanted to look for pools <laughs> I just wanted to go for the roller coaster ride. Yeah. Honest, because it's, it's kind of fun. Sure. It's gnarly. But you had an agenda. I had an agenda. I always have an agenda. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so like after the third time I go with him, and, and he's got a flight instructor. So the trickiest thing when you're doing these plane flights is to go get on the flight instructor's good side so you can actually go in the plane with these guys because most of the time it's insurance and they won't let you do it. Gotcha. But at this particular airport in Cable where we grew up in Upland, I knew the cables who ran the airport who were giving my friend lessons. And so he was cool with me and he let me in the plane. So eventually I kind of brought my camera and then started taking photos. And then I started laying the photos out and started kind of knowing the areas. And that's kind of how I first started to, but at first I was kind of clueless and didn't really know how to read photos from the air, so to speak. So it wasn't until my second pilot friend, Alex Cavalletti from um, Italy I met. He lives in Costa Rica. And uh, when I first met him in Italy, it was uh, we were on a tour of, like for Santa Cruz, and no one because when they when we get there, we can't speak any Eng uh, any Italian, mm -hmm. and so the Italians can't speak any English. But they had this kid who skates who could speak, speak perfect English, which is Alex. Okay. So he became the translator. So that's how I met this kid. He was 16 on this tour, and I think in '87. Okay. So anyhow, um, he goes with us all over, and I kind of become bros with him. And then s sooner or later, he he kind of. Moves to the States, to, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose the States. I'm going to get my pilot license. I'm going to move to Costa Rica. Well, what? So anyhow, when he came up here, I would go flying with him all the time this, this, with the cable kids again. You know what I mean? And by this time, Alex had his shit dialed. So he's all, dude, you already know where you're going to go. You already kind of know the streets on a grid. Uh -huh. We're going to take a whole bunch of photos, and we're going to stay. I'm going to keep the plane in this grid. And on top of that, you're going to bring a walkie-talkie. You're going to have someone on the ground in the area. You're going to have three cars. And a walkie-talkie. This is like a wow. cocaine deal, yeah. like, <laughs> so, straight up. Yeah, like, so anyhow, the time, this is probably by about me taking at least six, seven flights by this point. Gotcha. You know, but but this actually worked. Huh. The day I was told us to do this, and we actually used it, it actually worked. And we found two pools that day, which was Pan's Pool, and went there that same day and drained it and skated it, told the lady, blah, 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 blah. And she <laughs> bought it. What, so do you, like, what do you mean blah, blah, blah? What, how did you just tell her? Like, we hey. told a lady. Okay, so we go to, we're in this, we're in uh, Muskoy. 
You guys know where Musco is? Never. Musco is in between Fontana, Rialto, and San Bernardino. It's okay. this little zone. It's gnarly there. Okay. In the 70s, that's where all the Hells Angels would grow this tweak, do all the speed tweak. Okay. And, and make it all in there. And then after they moved out in the 80s, all the dudes from L.A. who were all the crack guys started moving on to the zone that were doing crack out of there. So that's how we first found out about that place. We'd go skate the house that were crack houses. Oh, gotcha. So that's how I even knew about the zone. Interesting. And so uh, Pam, who was this black lady, super hot black lady on okay. top of it, she was there. And we just knocked on the door. And I go, hey, uh, I noticed your pool's drained. You know, my name's Steve, and I'm a pro skater, skateboarder, and we really like to see if we could skateboard your pool and take some photos for the magazine for Thrasher. Ooh. I work for Thrasher. I said, oh, wow. Well. I, I kind of piqued her interest. Huh. And then she kind of looked at me and looked at all the other guys. I mean, you guys are cute. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and so that got us in the door right Man. there. Wow. And we kind of became friends with her. And like, we would buy her cigarettes and buy her beer sometimes. And she was always cool with us, man. And she had a daughter, and her daughter would sing. And uh, was like in an R&B kind of band. And they, they were super cool people, man. Amazing. So, so you had a place to go. So we kind of got to know yeah. them. Wow. And eventually we kind of got permission. We would drain a pool that had water in it. She so let us skate. And then we ended up skating this pool for like, I'm thinking, five years. Wow. wow. You know I mean? nice. so, okay. Wow. So when you kind of go in these kind of poor areas, not that they're poor, poor, but or people have less means. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And because they have less means and they have not enough water to put water in the pool, so to speak, because they can't keep up on that. And it's up it, upkeep in the pool also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So so just a little bit prior to this little backstory. Now, there's a whole bunch of pools in Rialto, Fontana, San Bernardino, mm -hmm. but there's a reason why. Because in the old days they had Route sixty six. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you come into California prior freeways and all that stuff, there was that's the only way to go from Missouri all the way here is on Route sixty six. So that's why all these hotels have these crazy pools. There's like this whole thing, Route sixty six is People, so this is built, and they and they buy it into this whole thing, yeah. this, this whole American dream. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna buy a house. It's pretty much in a the neighborhood to Hollywood from Route 66. Right. And so basically, this is the 60s, where was, you know, I'm a kid from the 60s, um, you know, the, um, the post-war kind of modern kid, kind of so to speak, you know, baby boomer, all that kind of crap. But that was all real, and all those communities were built for these you know what i mean and because it's so hot out there there's a yeah, load of pools mm -hmm. so you had a drought in the 70s right come in the 80s it's this foreclosure city mm. because they have all these crack houses more or less it's huh. drug drug houses right and they don't know what to do with them and they're worked they're just thrashed because they're just yeah. selling drugs out of them it's gnarly man it's almost like the wire kind of shit mm. wow. in rialto back in the, it was heavy in those days you know what i mean and the cops would catch us here and there once in a while. I'm like, dude, you shouldn't be there, dude. You guys know that a girl got murdered there yesterday. A girl got raped in this other one. But what are you guys doing, man? Like, they were more concerned for your safety yes. than actually like you skating yeah. there. Yes. That's how nearly Ray also in Muscle was in those days. Right. But that's in the early, eight, like, 84, okay. 87, 88. Can I ask you a question really quick? The walkie-talkies the plane what are you doing what are you communicating well You're we going just like Al go here check out this well, pool alex, alex kind of flew low so the okay. walkie talkies okay. would actually work sure and the thing is you have a flight ceiling and you're not supposed to go between 1500 feet basically mm. but he kind of was cheating a little bit <laughs> he's getting a little, getting a little <laughs> low so you can but the walkie talkies actually work so he would just basically hey man there's a house right here on the second house on the left it's it's going west as the third street from california and, and three streets vertically up, go up. So the buddies down there. So we were just trying to vector them in to kind of get in there. And then when they found the pool and sat there and they went and looked over the field, like, dude, there's a pool there. You know what I mean? And, um, that's so, so sick. So okay. we, we, wow. found, we found quite a few pools from me taking photos uh -huh. from doing that. And then Alex showing us how, not that we ever used the walkie-talkie a lot. We only did that basically one or two times. Okay, okay. Still but the, genius. But the one time yeah, it did definitely. work and it was kind of genius and like, oh, wow. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? would you, were you taking the photos and actually kind of trying to make a picture Yeah, out yeah, of them? and that's what and I would do. You would, okay. So I would try to like kind of do that. Seems kind of hard. Seems like but, a puzzle. Yeah, but yeah. It, it, the, it yeah. is, but at the same time, I knew my area so well, mm. like my area of operation, so okay. to speak, that I knew kind you of knew where to, I knew where to go. Because I mean, I've gotcha. been going out there for 35, 40 years now. Right, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Huh. So, yeah. So it's just, you know, after the 80s, it's like foreclosure. Coming to the 90s, uh, it was more barging again, but then the earthquake happened. 
And when the earthquake happened in, in, in the valley, that was like a whole nother fucking scenario. It was really? like, it was like, whoa. Yeah, was and at that point we'd been going to the Valley of skate pools, but I only knew one little zone that I always went to. I always kind of went to the same zone. It was kind of by pink hotel, a little bit North of that zone. And then here's what was crazy. The LA times, I should have brought that shit. I still have it. The LA times put this little piece of paper out on their, on the, on the front cover of all the most heavily devastated areas in the, the, for, from the earthquakes. Okay, okay. Like all the red tagged zones. Mm. And then I was like, what? You just gave me a map. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what like, I mean? Unbeknownst to them. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. at that point, it was like, people always like, how many pools you skated, Steve? You know, blah, 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 blah. And so, to be honest with you, that I really never kept track track. You know what I mean? I'm, Hundreds. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking like 5,000 at this point. 5,000 th- 5, pools? But, but, but you remember, I've been doing this since I'm 10. <laughs> I know. So I've been skating a lot, though. pools for 48 years now. Yeah. So here's what I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to give you a little bit of, of equation here for like okay. a little math kind of shit. Yeah, let's do this. When we skated the valley, there was all these red tag neighborhoods. So say there's one neighborhood, every house is red tag. You can't even go into it. Mm-hmm. You're, it's illegal to go in there. You're going to get busted. But we go in there. And so we're going through the alleyway, looking over. Pool. Okay. Oh, ooh, look at those shallow stairs. We, let's do those shallow stairs. We jump out of the car. We just we were there for ten minutes. We made the shallow stairs, and then we jump out. Next pool. Okay. Ooh, look at that love seat. Look at that. Look at that box. We gotta do that box, and then maybe you go grind that. Maybe for ten minutes to make the box. You're only skating these pools for five, ten minutes. Well, just, just some of them, just yeah. because we don't know. We're 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 just we're new. We're, yeah, we yeah, don't okay. really know what the scene Stunt yet. Your zone. Uh, because the other thing too is I have this thing called the fifteen minute rule. Okay, what's that? Basically, it takes them five minutes for them to figure out you're there. Okay. Five minutes from them to tell the cops, mm. and five minutes for the cops to respond. Okay. If you play a fifteen minute rule in skateboarding, you never get fucking caught. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to adhere to it. You have. That's that. a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you got to adhere to it. Yeah. When you adhere to it, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. In all the years we've ever adhered to 15 minutes, we've never got caught. Never. In the years we've always like not adhered to it and stayed more, that's when we get caught. Yeah. Every time. What's the worst thing that's ever happened skating somebody's pool and that caught. you don't have permission to skate? Well, I mean, probably the worst thing for me is... Um, now, I've always wanted to kind of ask you this question about this because I've, I've always felt I've been the most... Tr- Ticketed trespasser in the, in the history of skateboarding. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. And it, last time I checked, I had twenty one of them. Twenty one trespassing tickets that I have. Right. That I have. Sure. The, that I have the tickets. Right. 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 I'm, I'm sure there's more that, pretty, I, that I don't but, have anymore. But I've been busted so many places. But the worst pool one probably was when I got caught in OC mm. in Garden Grove. There was a pool on Garden Grove Boulevard. This big pool we called the home plate. Mm-hmm. It was almost shaped like a home plate, like like mm. baseball home plate. And um, the kid who lived there kind of, we knew it was there. We kind of barged. Then one day we were barging. We met this kid who actually lived there. And he's, oh, you can skate, but don't let my dad find it. He'll be pissed. He'll call it cops. And so it was kind of one of those things. You okay. know I mean? And the pool's already drained. The pool's already been drained, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they were just kind of, they were just sitting there. And so anyhow, we got caught there one day. And it was, it was super stupid because I, I heard the cop pull up. And, he, and if we're in the back of the yard, it's almost like stage right, stage left kind of shit. Okay. You, gotta, you know what I mean? So the cop came out on the right-hand side. And we heard him. We saw him. And, and all of my friends, three of them bailed over the fence and hid here. But two of my friends walked out this way as this guy's going like this. And okay. they bailed. And I was with them. And I was like, okay, killer. <laughs> and then I go to reach my keys. Fuck. Oh, no. I left my keys and my wallet on the stairs. Oh. And... He's going to have my fucking wallet. Yeah. So as a cop goes like this and comes through again, you go, I go through here and I'm looking through the window because this is how you can see through the house. Mm. House is all abandoned at this point. There's no one there. They're just working at a house. You know oh, what I mean? Gotcha. And so I go back this way and as he's coming out, I go again I get my keys <laughs> and my wallet. I got him. Okay. And as he goes through again, he's looking at the house again and I can see him. I go this way again. And he goes back one more time, and I go out the front door, out the front yard, and I'm skating down the street. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm pulling it, and I'm, I'm a block away, but I got my pads on. Okay. I'm not wearing a helmet these days. I didn't wear helmets in those days. I just had my, but I had my knee pads, and I had one elbow pad and my wrist brace. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And the cops all, hey, what are you doing? Stop. I've got to call someone skating there. Stop. And I stopped, and he said, come here. 
He's like, what are you doing? I'm just skating. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> so what do you got those pads on for? I'm, I'm just skating. What do you mean? He's like, come with me. So he brought me back to the pool. And then uh, at that point, they were all like, man, you, you were one of those guys skating in the pool. I know, I know what you're talking about. I just kind of played stupid, played stupid. Uh -huh. But then the dad showed up. And dad wanted to press charges. Oh, oh shit. No. And the dad pressed charges. Really? Oh. And they basically made a citizen's arrest on the spot. So wow. they, they citizen's arrested me right there on the spot. And everybody's Ooh. gone at this point. My, my Kelly and Chick and all those guys and Chuck, they're they're behind the fucking fence on the other side in the palm tree. Dust, blah, 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 blah. But they're kind of, they kind of got, everybody got away but me. Oh, stupid wow. me because it's just stupid. You left your keys in your wallet. Stupid mistake. And then Stop so what happened you. was the first time I go to court, I plead not guilty, blah, blah, blah. And the guy's, oh, man, we want to charge you for the pool. You're going you're gonna to pay to, to fix the pool. He said we've write the pool. And it's going to be 30000 bucks. Jeez. I'm like, what? How, how do you justify 30000 bucks? Yeah. That's what he said it was. And so in the meantime, I go to the second trial six months later. And as I'm sitting at the second trial, just getting ready to get reamed, right? <laughs> and, we're, we're in, and I'm having to, like, plead again. And right as I'm getting ready to plead, the, the kid kind of goes to the dad and says something in his ear. I don't even know what he said. And, and then the, the lawyer guy's like, judge, can I, can I talk to you? And, and so the judge stepped forward. And uh, I had like a, I couldn't afford attorney, so I had like a public defender dude, and, and they stepped up. And the kid basically told the dad, like, if you press charges on Steve, because the kid knew who I was uh -huh. and knew who we were, all the kids at school were going to make fun of him. Because they knew I got busted because of the kid. Right. That's what he told his dad. Right. Oh. And so the, the dad actually dropped charges. Okay. At the second thing right there. Right there at the which second was thing. Like, whoa. Like, that's never happened. I thought I was done. So wow. in actuality, that was the worst that's ever happened to you. But in actuality, you you got away, though. You got Well, you that got, was the worst scenario. Scenario. Yeah. Right. I've you been, said you had 20 something plus tickets for I've been, trespassing. Yeah, I've, been, I've been busted way worse than that before. Okay, okay, okay. I'd say probably the worst one was probably Arizona with Brian Brandon. We had to spend like 12 hours in jail in Phoenix. Mm. That was pretty gnarly. And they were hammering us because, you know, and then I got busted with Steve Olson okay. in Claremont once. That was pretty fucked in the 80s. <laughs> 80s. And it was me, you. Olson, Johnny Ray, my little brother. And Olson had pink Converse on. And they were, they were grinding them, man. <laughs> And uh, at one point, the cops kind of had us all four sitting here, mm -hmm. and they cross cross referenced us and speak. So, oh, right. who's this guy? And you know, Johnny was oh, that's Salva. And then you know, they asked Olson, well, "Who's this guy?" Well, that, that's that's Mickey Alba. And they asked Mickey, "Well, like, who's this guy?" And, and in the meantime, Steve Ol Steve Olson told the guys his name is Steve Jones. <laughs> 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 you know, who Steve Jones is right. Pistol sex, sex, oh. sex pistols, guitar oh, player, right? Oh my god! So that, that was his go-to guy all the time, Steve Jones. And so <laughs> he tell the copy of Steve Jones on a piece of paper. So when Mickey says Steve Olson, you said your name is Steve Jones. What's what's the Steve Olson? Right. What's up with the pink shoes, you little fairy? And, you know. Yeah. And he started calling them names. Mm -hmm. You know, bad. Sure. Shit. You know where I'm going with this. Yeah. yeah and so yeah. Um, basically, he was kind of going there. And just berating them, and just also was like, oh god. oh god. And so, like, the thing is, because I didn't know why. I, mean, I think I think Olsen had a warrant. They let all three of us go, uh, and they took him to jail to Claremont. And at that point, Olsen's like, oh shit, what do I do? And then Olsen called me from jail. So, Salves, can you help me? And of course, like, I go, Mom, Olsen's in jail, man. You, you got to give us some money to get him all. You got to help him out. So my mom went and actually paid Olson's bail, which I think was 300 bucks, I think, 150 <laughs> but I forget what it was. It was either 150 or 300 But anyhow, she's all like, if he's going to pay me back, you know, but thing is, Olson came back to our house and paid her back. Amazing. Oh, nice. Like two days later. Amazing. That's awesome. And so to this day, my mom's all like, you talked to Steve Olson. He's, he always pay. He's got some integrity. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, I mean, that's the kind of guy that, Steve Olson is. Rad, you know what yeah. I mean? So that's, you know, so I've always... Had these rad experiences with him and just rad adventures with him. I mean, so that was one of them. Not that I got caught that time. He got caught. He got he got dusted. Yeah. Where is that like button? Right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's Subscribe. over to yeah. It's on your it's on my left. Right? It's no, on, my left. on your left. Hey, yeah. Hit right that there. button right there. Right there.
right yeah, there. Yeah, please. The, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of. Like oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. The subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. <laughs> All right.